Hello, everybody. My name is Zalafo, and uh, I am uh, the one behind Zalafo to show up. Sorry, I've been missing for a couple weeks now. Um, so that's one of the challenges of living in the north. Our network and internet is very, very unstable. So right now, I'm just using my Zoom uh, with the hope of uploading the video at work because we have like different, like our uh, work internet speed is like amazing. Okay, so um, thank you for my whole subscriber. Hey, ah, thank you so much um, for still sticking by me, even though I've not been consistent on here. Thank you, thank you. God bless you. Um, for the new subscriber, uh, thank you so much. Thank you for the questions that you've been asking to wake me up that, hey, this girl do have a channel. Uh, I really appreciate And I've been so good with replying all your questions in the comments. So for today's video, I am going to be addressing um, uh, some of the questions that you guys are asking me. Oh my God, I've got a lot of stuff on my computer. Um, asking me, um, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Okay, so I'm going to ask uh, answer some questions. Um, I've already answered them on the comments, but in the comment session, but I address it through the video to expand it a little bit more. Okay, so the first question is, um, okay, um, I have so somebody has them on to go. I've already had the question. This person asked how, how to become a social worker in Canada, especially in mental health social, work, social worker. So in, in Canada, uh, social work is a generalist approach where you everything, no matter where you which area you're working, um they will teach you and educate you to prepare you for multiple diverse areas of practice. Um, so if you want to practice in uh, as a mental health social worker, you still do the four-year degree, generally the degree where you are able to do. You can even change from uh, working in mental health, you switch to addiction, you can switch to social work, social worker and stuff like that, child protection. Um, and the second question is, as a fresh graduate with no experience, is it difficult to find a job over there as a social worker? Um, I would say, you know, this it's it's kind of like a gray area. I won't say that uh, there's there's it's difficult to find a job, but um, you know, if you are a new grad, like every grad, every people, everybody that went to school, if you are in social work, you should be working, right? You should have like a casual job. So I always encourage people that if you are in school studying social work, you should at least have a job that targets the area of human services. So maybe you are a you know, community support worker, uh, court support worker, you know, a youth service worker, youth, youth program, whatever. So work, you know, any kind of work in government, in the community, nonprofit organization, volunteering as well. Just make sure all this work experience, you put it in your resume. To be able because your resume is you are using your resume to sell yourself because there's a lot of people that will be applying for the same position they're applying for so make sure your experiences are there the skills are there as well um so as a fresh graduate um i'm going to tell you when i when i got my first job in social work i got a job offer almost two months before finishing before finishing my inter internship uh, and, and a lot of people who have met, who have spoken to me, a lot of people get job like right after they finish. Another thing I want to say is that you have to be, you have to be um, uh, comfortable. Uh, you, you have to be able to step out of your comfort zone. So for me, even though I applied to a lot of jobs in Saskatoon, I didn't get any job offer or in Saskatoon. So the places where I got job offer were like up north, Nepawain, Sandy Bay, uh, Lac La Ronge, Air Ronge, um, and um, where I say, uh, Prince Albert, all those places that is outside of where I live. 
So for me, I just carried my load. You know, we just carried our load and we left because I know that you know I don't at some point I don't think I want to say I don't want to say things as cartoon anyway. So it's just kind of like something that really worked with my plan. So that has hopefully that answers your questions. Um, the next question um that I ask here is. Um, okay. Um, love to hear your feedback to our grad school channel. Oh, okay, so I don't know about that one. I'm just checking my comment. Okay, so this person says a video very informative. A uh, social work job readily available in Saskatoon. Yes, there's social work are readily available in Saskatoon uh, with the government, with non-profit organizations, uh, different kind of agencies, um, you know, like readily available. Um, majority of people tend to work with the government, which with the health authority. Uh, and the problem with that is that, um, you know, by seniority. So they will give people who are internal, who have more in seniority the job for before they consider somebody that, you know, except the job is not applied to by somebody that's internal. So somebody external can get the job, but it will take a while, right? Um, so uh, the advice I would like to give is that you should be open to any job first, to start to build your own experience and your own resume. And then after that, you will be able to uh, compete with jobs that you really, really wanted to be. That is your dream job. I'll say. Um, so the person also asked, I will complete my MSW program in the UK October 2022, and I'll be relocating to Saskatoon. Any information around salary and how easy to get a social work will be highly appreciated. So when it comes to salary, it really depends. So it depends on your, your work experience. It depends on your credential and depends on the organization you're working for. So, um, you know, the organization that tend to pay more is government, right? Government. And then the, you know, the non-profit organization pay less, they still pay good. So that is why it's difficult for me to give you like a pay range uh, because, you know, it really depends on where you're working uh, and the organization that you're working for. Uh, it also depends on the role as well. Mental health, social worker gets paid really well. Uh, child protection, if you're a school social worker, if you're working in the um, justice system, you know, so it really depends on a lot of factors. Uh, any information on, so if you're completing your master's of social work in UK and you're moving to Saskatoon, I would like to know that um, 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 the, the highest, credential that they can give you in Saskatchewan is bachelor's, BSW, when that is the highest that they can give you as far as I'm, um, I'm aware. But the person that I worked with, the person that I worked with who was trying to trans to convert his, his master's of social work to that of Saskatchewan was from Bag Bangladesh. So I don't know, I, I don't know if that is the same with other countries, but I'm aware that the highest they can give you as a registered social worker is BSW. In Alberta and in Ontario, you may be able to use and practice your master's using your master's of social work. Um, and also uh, because you're coming to UK and you're coming to Saskatoon, you know, be open to be open to um any possibility like a job. Um, and then you can work your way up. So don't settle, don't settle for less. Don't stay in that position for a long time. Get learn a lot from that position and take as much as you can and uh, move on. Um, also, if depending on your immigration um, uh, route, if it's not like if, if you are not stuck, you know, if you are if you are if you are not stuck in Saskatoon, then if you are able to move around, like move to the north, work for a year, or whatnot, it also increases your chance of getting a job that you wanted right away with very good pay. I hope that answers your question. So the next question is, thank you so much. I have completed my bachelor's from Bangladesh in social work in 2016, as well as I am teaching and observing 
autistic children since my bachelor. Now I want to complete my master's in social work from Canada. Would you tell me what I should do for admission? So um, with this, you need to do some personal research because if you want to do your master's in Canada, there's a lot of universities that offer master's of social work, right? So you want to do your own personal research to kind of narrow down which university you will be applying to. And you also, all this university that you'll be applying to also have application fee, right? So a, a lot of them is about $250. So if you're applying to 10 universities just to get an admission, it means that you're going to be paying $150 times 10. Although it increases your chances of getting at least into one, but that is totally up to you. Um, and then the, it also depends on the type of masters of social work you want to do. Uh, there's, you can do thesis, you can do um, projects, and you can also do like research practical, and, and you can also do field practicum as well. So field practicum is where you, you do internship. Research practicum is if you are doing research, so you are doing a research project, literally. And then thesis means the same thing. You, you know, you are doing a you are doing a research, and you have to write it. You have to write like a dissertation or or your your paper, your master's, your thesis, um, to to defend your to get your master's of social work diploma. Um, so it really depends on, you know, if you want to do an internship, you will have to complete some internship hours with an organization of your choice or an organization that is already selected for you by your school. Um, so me, I did, I did practicum option because I was working full time and I know that I would not be able to commit time to a thesis master's. So that's why I did this um, um, internship or practicum they also call it. So I hope that answers your question. Um, so the person also said, now I want to complete my master's in social work. Admission, you know, it's admission depends on, um, you know, if you have work experience, it looks like you have good work experience, your grade, right? Your, um, your statement, how your statement of intent looks like, is it solid? Um, your, um, what else? Your, you know, volunteerism, you know, they want to see how your community engagement and community development is to give back to the community, not just in cash, but rather your time. Um, so you need to do your personal research, narrow it down, and you can book a Zoom call with me if you want. Uh, then you, so you had it, but my bachelor's result is not good. It is 2.84 out of four. That is why I'm really worried. Well, your, your chances of getting an admission may be slim with your grade. You need B plus or higher. Any master's program that you want to do in social work in Canada, you have you need a mark of B plus. Um, so, uh, so this person may have to uh, upgrade to in order to get a better GPA. And, and you also need to know that, uh, you know, social work, master's is a very competitive program. So they will have like seats for 30 or 40 people per uh, intake year. And there's almost maybe 100 people applying. So they have to take the best, they have to take the best student with the best grade and, and decline other people. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, so the choice for you is to upgrade your classes or you can also do a master's in a non-social work related program um yeah so the next question is please share your email so my email is dolapo d-o-l-a-p-o -O, uh, number eight at gmail.com um, the next question is, I am an anthropology graduate. I have five years in INGO experience. So I'm assuming it's non-government organization. In community engagement and outreach, I am thinking to pursue a social work master's in Canada. I need your suggestion on scholarship opportunity. 
Well, when it comes to scholarship, I'm going to be honest with you. It's pretty limited in Canada. Limited. There's a lot of people. So what Canada does is that they prioritize like permanent resident students. They prioritize Canadian students. Um, so when it comes to international students, international uh, the scholarship is pretty slim. So it also depends on your grade as well. If you have a very good grade, um, so there's limited scholarship for international students, but scholarship is, is still possible. But the chances are slim. All right. So it depends. They give scholarship based on your immigration status, um, you know, your grade, your community engagement, like volunteerism, financial need, as well as extracurricular activity, extracurricular activities. Um, so yeah, yeah. Do you study? The next question is: Do you study social work for your undergraduates? Yes, I study social work for my undergraduates. Yeah. And the next question is: I want to. The, the next question is: I want to apply for MXW, but the requirement the requirement says you must have a bachelor's of social work. Do you know schools in Canada that accept other graduate degree? Yes, I do. And I'm going to tell you the university right now. Um, okay, okay. So the university that I offer, so there are a lot of university in Canada that offers masters of social work program for, for students who, who have non-social work degree. And uh, I am going to list some of the school here. Hopefully I can find it. Okay, I'm gonna try to. So actually, I'm going to add a link under this video um, to prevent my video getting longer of universities that offers master's degree. Um, so there are, there are quite a few universities that offer uh, masters of social work that to students who doesn't have a BSW degree. And one of them is Wipre Laurie University. That's where I did my master's. Um, that's one of it. There's all, all, uh, more, more schools that, uh, that I didn't attend, um, you know, that I didn't do that research. So I will post a link before for you to find that information for yourself. Um, so um, actually, that's not the last question. The next question is, um, which university in Canada offers PhD program? Uh, in social work. So there, yeah, there's quite a number of schools that pro, uh, offers PhD program in social work. And they are, um, so Carleton University is in Ontario. They offer a PhD program. Um, the next university is, so I'm checking my, McMaster University offers a PhD program in social work. Um, Memorial University of Newfoundland um, also offers that. Université de, de, de Ottawa, that's a French university. So you can say I can't call it well. They offer a PhD program, possibly in French. So you may want to know which one you want to pick. Université de Montreal offers PhD um, as well as University of British, British Columbia, Vancouver, and uh, University of Manitoba, University of Calgary, um, so University of Toronto, University of Windsor, and Wilfred Laurier University, Wilfred Laurier University, and lastly, uh, York University, which is in Ontario. So those are the few uh, schools that offer the PhD program. I found this list of schools under the link I'm going to be posting. So make sure you guys spend time uh, checking those universities out and the kind of program that they offer. Uh, I hope that's going to help you to select which one that best suits your academic and career goal. So uh, that is going to be the end of the questions. Uh, if you guys have any questions, again, I'm, trying, I'm going to be doing this maybe once in a while. Please leave in the comments below. Thank you so much for subscribing and asking these questions. 
Um, yeah, so yeah, talk to you later. Bye-bye.